I suffer from a uh, crippling social anxiety, so this is going to be just as fun for you as it currently is for me. <laughs> Obviously, if you have eyes, I was uh, bullied at school. <laughs> and at work. And at home. And uh, between the beatings, my mother used to say to me, Ryan, you need to get yourself a hobby. So I did. I took up poetry. Didn't help. In fact, it probably made things drastically worse, but to relive some of those beatings, I'm going to perform some of my poems for you, so apologies. I also have a poetry voice, so thank you. This poem's called Pauline, for reasons that will become obvious very early on in the poem. Pauline gasped. She'd never seen a cock so big. She blushed as she stared at Robert's prize-winning chicken. <laughs> Whose knob was enormous. Uh, most of my poems are based on true stories, and the rest are just narratives I've made up. Uh, and this one is based on a true story, but I've changed my own name to protect my own identity. <laughs> Tim's mother called him. Help! I've fallen down the stairs! She screamed onto his answer phone. Tim called her back each day for four days. No answer. <laughs> so Tim assumed she no longer needed help and carried on with the rest of his week. <laughs> my girlfriend, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> the power of poetry. I consider my girlfriend to be a bit of a wag. She stinks of dog food. Uh, and <laughs> she said, Ryan, aren't all actors hypocrites? I thought, they are hypocrites, aren't they? So I'll show you the evidence now. A seasoned actress such as Judy Dench tastes nothing like salt and pepper. The, the James Bond actor, Rory Kinnear, can't, he's half deaf. And despite me asking, Will Smith won't. Uh, <laughs> my mother, <laughs> the power of poetry. My, mo my, my mother said to me, she said, Ryan, because I can never be bothered coming to any of your gigs, how do you normally do your set? I said, well, I'll start with the latest one I've written and work my way back till I've done them all. So with that in mind, this is poem 247. <laughs> Stacy went bowling. It took her ages to find the right ball, but finally she found one. The weight was fine, but her fingers kept getting lodged in the little holes. Instead of admitting she had chubby little man fingers. <laughs> she bowled anyway, severely breaking her wrist in three places. <laughs> this is poem 246. It requires some acting, so thank you. Two gay melons tried to marry. No, no, screamed the pineapples. You can't elope. 